was going to talk about delta T. It's uh, a measure that farmers use for deciding when to uh, do their spraying, particularly over summertime. Uh, basically, it's a number that's generated as a, uh, it's a relationship between temperatures and uh, relative humidity. And farmers use a guide of rough guide of spraying when that number is between two and ten. Now, what that has tended to mean is that in summertime, farmers are spraying quite often uh, during the evening and the early mornings. Uh, to be able to achieve that because often the numbers will get over, delta T number will get over 10 quite quickly during the day. Now one of the uh, unintended consequences of this is that we've seen incidences of spray drift because when you're spraying at low delta T's, and particularly in the early mornings, you have calm conditions that uh, produce inversion layers which can move um, uh, herbicide droplets long distances. So this has caused problems in areas where you're near vineyards, etc. So what we decided to look at was whether we had some scope to go outside that two to 10 range, particularly on the higher side, um, where growing conditions are good. So we did trials over three seasons. The first two seasons we did it where there was excellent soil moisture and young actively growing weeds. And what we found was in both of those seasons, we could go up to quite high delta Ts, uh, uh, around, around 16 and uh, 17, and found that uh, we still got very good weed control as long as those weeds were, were remaining to be actively growing. The third trial we did was uh, just in this last summer, where we had the opposite conditions where there was very dry soil, larger weeds that were under stress and we looked at whether a, a spraying a different range of Delta T's made a difference. And it made a slight difference in that uh, we used paraquat and glyphosate in that, on that occasion. And there was a drop off in the performance of paraquat at very high Delta T. Uh, I remember the situation, the um, temperature was about 39 degrees and the Delta T was, was over 17. So really stressful situations especially for the guy who had to spray. Um, yeah, and there, there was a bit of a drop off in the performance of the paraquat, and actually the, the roundup we applied, perhaps the rate wasn't as high as it could have been, but there was just poor performance at any time because the weeds were stressed. So we learned a bit out of that. So we think there's a lot more flexibility in what you can do when the weeds are actively growing. We can probably spray at longer times during the day, and probably one of the best guides is just to look at the, at the plants, if they don't look stressed, and the delta T might be 13, 14, you, I think you can keep, keep spraying. But if they're highly stressed, uh, uh, maybe that's when you, when you stop. So delta T's a guide, but there's other, other factors to look at, I think.